Oh, man. What's going on, Jonathan? Well, I can't saw the error code, but I forgot to check which one it was. Yeah, that error alarm can be a little annoying, so if you accidentally cancel out of it, luckily the control panel stores the error on the error log. This is important because if you call for service, you may need to let them know to see if we can diagnose it over the phone or you need a certified technician. Want me to show you how to find it? That'd be great. All right, let's find this error log. Whether your control panel is in the on or off position, the first thing you want to do is make a peace sign. And then go directly under the I and P on the control panel, then tap them both at the same time to bring up info mode. Our first option is E-Log or Error Log with a down arrow lit up on the top of the panel. Scroll down once to see the current, date, and time. Then scroll down one more time to see the most recent error code. In this case, high limit on March 22nd. This is the most recent code that you can relay to a dispatcher when calling in for service. By scrolling down again, you can see any previous error codes stored on the control panel. It will log the 25 most recent errors that this unit has encountered. Once done, simply make the peace sign again and click the INP at the same time to return to the main menu. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, now I know how to check for an error code. When do I need to use this again? Good question. You'll always want to know the error when you're calling in for service. That way a dispatcher knows whether they can help troubleshoot over the phone or we need a certified technician to come take a look at the piece of equipment. But are you feeling good? I'm feeling fantastic. Well, that's great. And that's all we have for today. So until next time, peace out.